Good morning peeps, it is half five in the morning because at the moment I've been waking up at 5am every day. Don't ask me why. Something about being at school just makes me wake up really early whether I like it or not. I actually did wake up at four, managed to get back to sleep. Today I'm going to take you through a regular day rehearsing for our summer shows at school. Okay, I'm hungry now so I'm going to make breakfast now. It's 5.48. I'll probably regret this when it's like midday and I'm hungry. Very well. Time for some porridge making. My porridge habits haven't changed. So upon reflection, obviously waking up at half five was not the wisest decision, even though it wasn't my choice and I still kind of struggle with early mornings now. I tend to wait to try and have breakfast a little bit later because having breakfast this early does mean I get hungry very early in the day. Um, and obviously when I was at school, there wasn't as many times uh, where I could just go and get snacks because it was all kind of canteen food once I got to the school. So that was definitely a struggle and something on reflection, I should have prioritized sleep more. Also, if you don't notice, my porridge is so much thicker back then. I liked the consistency to be thicker. I always did my quiet time. It was just maybe a bit shorter, maybe 10, 15 minutes instead of the hour that I normally do now. Time stretches. This is what a show week does to you guys. Funny enough, my other knee is absolutely, absolutely fine. What's going on with this one? This one's been murdered. So this is the part of the morning routine which I feel has changed the most. I still stretch when I get to work. I just don't do the same extreme stretches as I used to. I do still do my three-way splits, but I've stopped doing this thigh one because apparently it's not good for my knees and I really want to stay away from injuries. Since having surgery, I want to take much more careful care of my body i don't do this back one either anymore just because i want to take really good care of my spine i also don't do my over splits anymore because i want to keep good care of my hips i'm feeling a bit tired this morning i don't know why but we've had like rehearsals from like 8 40 to 6 every day same thing today i better get moving because i want to warm up before i start school <laughs> So it may appear lazier that I'm waking up later, but actually my workday for professional life ends a lot later. So I have to maintain energy for a lot longer in the day. So having a more of a sleep in is actually super important for me in my professional life because my day goes on till almost 11 p.m. rather than 6 p.m. as you will see in my student life. So this is today's outfit. This is actually a Basilica dancewear leotard. So I would definitely recommend because I'm loving this new May collection. You can't really see the color very well, but it's like mint green. I need to get on because we have a full dress run today. So I'm trying to get all the outfits together. I haven't been as prepared as maybe I should have been. I'm gonna be prepared now. And then I need to warm up. Only a shorter class this morning because we have so many rehearsals. I literally can't fit everything in my bag. It won't do up. Maybe it might fit in the front pocket. No, it's not gonna fit in the front pocket. I don't want to break my bag. Why do I have so much stuff all the time? <sighs> yes! It literally looks like I'm about to go on a mountain hike. That is so huge. Oh my goodness. So I'm on my way to school now. It's about a 25 minute walk to school. It's about 8 o'clock now. I'm probably going to call my mum. I always do when I walk to school. Then we will go from there. Okay, long day. We can do this. We can do it. <laughs> Good morning everybody, <laughs> it's vlog time, <laughs> you want to say to the vlog, go on, see when you're under the pressure you don't know what to say, what do they want to know, what, what do the people want to know, That's professionals what... all the way through, all of us are professionals, not quite yet, we have a week and a half, let's go, that was so convincing, so, so convincing, the lighting here is actually quite because good though, I'm all shook up I'm wearing thin I feel so far From my family I'm blacking out In some cheap hotel Now I'm wondering if they'll even miss me But I only ever think of 
Dying when I'm staring at the ceiling. My we finished class, it was very hard, wasn't it? We're nearly there. Got like one week and a half. Dress rehearsal today. Good morning. This is like two years later, so same scenario. Good morning, Matil. How are you doing? Good. Get those biceps working, girl. <laughs> so camping class is an hour and 15 and I still do my stretches before I make sure I stretch out my feet in particular because that's obviously the area that I've had injuries on before so I just try and make sure I take really really good care of my body before class instead of it being a workout it's more of um, making sure that my body is ready for the work that I'm about to put it through for the day. Um, as a student I would often practice in every spare minute of the day Whereas now I'm, as a professional, trying to focus on working smarter and not harder because um, otherwise your body can't maintain the really tough schedule that works, is expected of us. We had another rehearsal since I last saw you and then we had lunch before we were going to do a full run of the summer shows. So now I just thought there's a studio available here and I'm going to just practice a bit, some solos that I'm doing for something else. Just trying to juggle a lot of different projects at the moment as usual. I actually did after lunch have a quick nap because it's a long day today and I need one so time to get to work. So I've just had rehearsal class and then rehearsal for an hour and a half and now I'm heading off back home to sew some shoes and just get some downtime before the stage call this evening which is going on late so it never feels right to like rest before having to do more but it's the only way to get through the rest of the day and the rest of the run which I have a lot of shows this week. I think I have like double swan shows every day apart from Friday so I'm gonna go get some rest now. I definitely have mixed emotions when I look back on these clips because I definitely admire like my tenacity just to keep going even when I felt exhausted and overtired and I definitely think there's seasons of life where you have to push through those barriers and those boundaries but doing that on a too consistent basis for so many years which you would hope to have in a professional career it is dangerous when you're overloading your body that much for such an elongated period of time so I'm trying to learn the balance between pushing myself but not pushing my body too far where it gets injured, which is obviously something I've learned through having surgery. Um, obviously before, at this point, I'd never experienced a proper injury before. So I think having that experience has taught me a lot. Are you gonna just look amazing or are you gonna speak as well? Oh. Oh. Okay. It's vlog time. I don't even know if I'm getting any of this. I hope I am. You, you do realize this is a video, not, not a photo. We're good at posing yeah. here. We're gonna be caked today, guys. Let's just say that. You like cake? I love cake. It's not on the face. It goes a bit smeary and like, and sweaty. Oh, and to top it all off, I've got to bring makeup wipes, so. I don't think I have them either. I'm just gonna do it when I get home. Just me, actually snacking on broccoli. Well, dinner, and some micro. I finished a pair of shoes, and I've got to head back to the theatre in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna eat some dinner, get some fuel in, Ahead. Not very aesthetic at all, but we've got like a risotto with lots of veggies and a turkey meatball. This is just tonight's dinner. I know it looks a bit of a mess, but this is a reality. Hannah Martin LG, you're joking me right now. I've got to show them the reality girl. Is that better? <laughs> Why don't we just go like this? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we just finished our first dress run of the entire show. It was interesting. Yeah. It was interesting. We're going to dream big and make it happen. Yeah, we are. Dream big, make it happen. By the way, future Hannah, enjoy. I can't wait to edit this. 
I, I haven't vlogged most of the day, but you kind of get the gist so of what, what a rehearsal day we looks like. We had a three like. minute change. And this is the current situation. Beautiful. See you when I get back to my apartment. Talking about working smarter and not harder, sometimes I now do my sessions with Francis, Collier and Harvey Klein and I can actually make my time work better. Instead of me just trying to figure it out on my own, I get that expert advice, which has been so great. So I just got back, well, kind of been sitting here, watching over some of the videos from rehearsals, some corrections for myself, watching a bit of the tennis, about to get in the shower. So I don't want to waste any more water, so better get in there now. I do. It's so birthday. So got the, we got the front of the cake. Right. Colin? There he is. Yes. So we've just done some swans. And now we're going to go on to act three. Almost there. This seems to be the normal evening routine at the moment. Icing the feet, soaking the toes, and drinking the hot chocolate. It's a good cup of joe. This one I realised that I'm actually such a tennis fan. If I wasn't terrible at tennis, tennis would totally be a career, I would have thought of. I did try awful at tennis. So it's half nine at night and I'm exhausted, but I want to watch Andy win this game. But I will get some sleep. I have like a curfew. I need to be asleep by 10.30. So usually I sleep by like half nine. Half nine now. I'm still soaking my feet. Like I've even got Andy Murray's biography, which I've been reading. It's really inspiring. I actually really recommend this book because he talks a lot about the pressures and stuff about being an athlete, which is very similar in dance. And obviously I used to be an athlete myself. So I consider being a dancer very much like being an athlete because you have to have the same dedication, same focus. <laughs> We had the ice bath at work, now we're gonna actually wash. And it is currently 10.30. Get in bed by 11, try and sleep by half 11. What is going on with my face? Where are these spots coming from? We haven't even started putting the stage makeup on this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hope it kind of gave you an insight into what our rehearsal day looks like. I'm exhausted, but we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to become part of our motivating family because I would super appreciate it. Guys, remember, dream big and make it happen. Wash and clean. Now hot chocolate time. Although some things about me haven't changed, a lot has actually changed. The way I view things, the way I do things, and the reason behind the way I do things has changed. And sometimes that's difficult to accept. Sometimes change is difficult to accept. Even if we make mistakes, even if it's not the end destination, the fact that we're changing means that we're living, it means that we're breathing, it means that we're moving forwards. Our situations and experiences may shape us, but sometimes what we have to do is just shed a whole new light on the situation that you're currently in. Sometimes the changes can seem big and significant, and sometimes the smallest ones are what make the biggest difference. It's okay for some seasons to look different than others. Some seasons you may be grafting really hard and other seasons maybe you can take a moment to really appreciate everything that's around you. Making mistakes is how we move forwards. Trial and error is probably the most quickest and efficient way of learning. So be ready to make mistakes, be ready to make changes. Change is not the enemy, it's just the beginning of finding your version of success so you can dream big and make it happen.